Alright, so in this video, we're going to be doing some practice with finding arc length, okay? So if we want to find the arc length from 0 to 1 of y equals 1 plus 6x to the 3 halves, we have our formula up here. Alright, so what do we do? Well, the first thing we should do is probably just find our dy dx squared, okay? So, dy dx, what is that? Well, we take our derivative here, the 1 goes away, and we get 6 times 3 halves, x to the 1 half, okay, and that simplifies down to a 9 rad x, okay? So, now we need to find what that is squared, okay, and that should seem rather obvious, hopefully, that is 81x, alright, so we can now substitute that in for our dy dx squared. So the arc length is going to equal the integral from 0 to 1, the square root of 1 plus 81x dx. Alright, well, how do we solve this? Well, we have, if we set u as 1 plus 81x, our problems will be solved, right? We just perform a simple u substitution. u equals 1 plus 81x. So du is 81 dx. Since we don't have an 81 laying around here anywhere, we have to divide by 81 on both sides. So we get that du over 81 equals dx. Okay? And of course, we're going to be also using this substitution. So we can make our substitutions now, and we're going to have to change our bounds, but let's make our substitutions first. We're going to get rad u times du over 81, okay? Now, what are our bounds going to be? Well, if u equals 1 plus 81x, if we plug in 0, we're just going to get 1, right? And if we plug in 1, we get 1 plus 81, which is 82. So we got the integral from 1 to 82 of rad u times du over 81. So we can do some integration here. We're going to get that the arc length is equal to 1 over 81 times... 2 over 3, u to the 3 halves, it's going to be evaluated from 1 to 82, all right? And then just doing some evaluation quick, we get 2 over 243, it's going to be times 82 rad 82 minus 1. So we have our next problem up on the board here. X equals one third red Y times Y minus three. And we're trying to find that arc length from one to nine. So we can write out our formula, right? Our formula is going to be different now. It's going to be that the arc length equals the integral from C to D because we're on the Y axis, right? That's kind of the variables that you use there. It's going to be one plus DX DY quantity squared DY. Okay, so now we need to find DX DY. Okay, and this will not be as clean as the first one, but, alright, what is our x? Well, we can simplify our x to be one-third y to the, actually that would be, yes, y to the three-halves minus, distribute this here, we just get rad y, so y to the one-half. All right, and now we can find the derivative of that, dx dy, is going to equal, well, we bring this down, one-third times three-halves is just going to be a one-half, and then this goes down to be a rad y, so we get a rad y over two, and then this becomes, well, we have a y to the one-half, that's just going to become one over two rad y. So before we actually go into squaring this, it actually be a little bit nicer to find common denominators first, okay? Because it's going to make the, the foiling a little easier, all right? So when we find common denominators, right, that's 2 rad y, we're going to get y over 2 rad y minus 1 over 2 rad y. And when we square this, it's a lot easier, okay? Because we'll end up with well, dx dy squared is going to equal, well, this is just y minus 1 over 2 rad y. 
and this whole thing gets squared. So that would end up equaling, well, we squared the top, that's y squared minus 2y plus 1. We put that over 4y. Now from here, okay, we could divide this all out and get a nice little trinomial on the bottom here, but I'm not going to do that. And why I'm not going to do that is because if we were to do that, we would get a bunch of different denominators, okay? And then, you know, when we put it in the radical, it's going to be disgusting, okay? So watch what happens if I just leave it like this and we set up our integral. We're going to get the integral from 1 to 9, the square root of 1 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1, and this part is going to be over 4y dy. Well, what happens here is I can actually just get common denominators, okay? This 1, I can change to be 4y over 4y. So, this, this would end up being 4y, right? And that would be subtracted by 2y to be just 2y. So, we would end up getting y squared plus 2y plus 1 all over 4y. Alright? And... Now, we can also, we can pull out this 4 completely out of the radical to get 1 half, the integral from 1 to 9, of rad y squared plus 2y plus 1. And this would be over rad y, I guess you could say. Alright, and now, well, what do you see here? What's the obvious solution? Well, y squared plus 2y plus 1, we know that's y plus 1 quantity squared, and that gets rid of our radical, okay? So, what that means is that we would just be left with y plus 1 over the square root of y. And now, we can actually do that division, okay? We end up with y to the 1 half plus y to the negative one-half dy. And now this is a super easy integral, okay? But there was a lot of finding common denominators and other steps like that before we even got to this nice part, okay? So it's very, it gets very tedious. You got to kind of see a lot of things. But anyways, so we can integrate this to get one-half times two-thirds y to the three-halves, this will be plus two y to the one-half, and we'll be evaluating that from one to nine. So before we do our evaluation step, I might as well just distribute this one-half, all right? It'll make it a little bit easier for us. Unless you want to do that at the end, you can. Okay, we get one-half times two-thirds is just going to be one-third, so we get one-third y to the 3 halves plus, well, this will just be y to the 1 half. Evaluate that from 1 to 9. Okay, doing our evaluation, we're going to end up getting 1 third times 9 rad 9 plus, this is just going to be a rad 9, and this is going to be minus our second term, which is going to be 1 third plus 1. You can probably do the simplifications from here, but I'm about to do it for you here. Uh, this rad 9 becomes 3, and this rad 9 becomes 3. So we end up getting, this cancels out with this, so we get 9 plus 3 minus a, it's going to be 4 thirds. And that ends up being 12 minus 4 thirds, which is, we can rewrite that 12 as 36 over 3 to get our final answer of 32 over 3. Alright, so a lot of manipulation going on here just to, you know, kind of help us do this a little bit better. It's a very, it's, it can be a very long process. It can be tedious and you might have to use some Calc 2 integrals like I mentioned in the last video, but uh, that's going to be it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for more applications of integration, the explanation video for arc length, and the next video in the series. See you soon.